Hello, hello, and welcome back. I'm bringing you a overview of sort of Arms Warrior changes and things that like are looking good, looking up changes that kind of generally happened in uh, 7.2.5 for PvP for Arms Warriors here. So uh, if you look at all of the, the patch notes and everything like that, there wasn't any big changes in the PvP section or four arms warriors so that could like allude you to the fact that maybe like a loads of stuff didn't change but it's actually a hell of a lot of stuff changed here so um it could end up being a fairly long video so i'm gonna get into it like straight away we're gonna have a look through these so um we got a jumble around of our um our talents here we got um trauma render well rent still the same but uh uh these are these got shifted around a little bit and this as well and uh, like we've got some changes here on Rend, which I which I really really like the idea of, and we got um, focused rage got moved, and uh, Titanic might got also um, got moved and in for the kill got moved and changed. So this is generally the spec that I'm running for most PvP, but like obviously we're swapping out the storm bolt when we can't get shock waves, and we're going double time if we need that extra uptime and we need less peels, but. To talk about generally what happened to um, Arms Warriors, so they changed it around. They tried. They made it so your Colossus Smash like mastery doesn't. Um, so it does less. So uh, the the extra damage you deal to somebody is less than uh, it would be normally. Um, well, like the mastery intake to it, and then they just gave us a flat damage increase in in all of our abilities. So. Um, uh, what that ends up looking like is it has increased our damage by quite a large amount, especially in PvP, because this is a PvE change that has effects in PvP because it's uh, about like the general play of the class, not specifically a template change or anything like that. So um, uh, there's also an increase to um, the Shattered Defenses um, artifact trait, which is um, whenever you use your Colossus Smash or your Warbreaker, your next Execute or Mortal Strike does an additional, it's now 50% added damage, which is a hell of a lot of damage, especially when you have um, Mortal Strike dealing more damage now um, than it did before with the 10% buff on all of our, our stuff, uh, all of our abilities, as well as an increase in Mortal Strike anyway. So uh, our rotation is still looking the same. Colossus Smash, Mortal Strike, and then trying to get like a like a Warbreaker or your Colossus Smash procs and then Mortal Striking after it. As well as yeah, a further buffing your mortal strike attacks with sharpened blade mainly when you're cut when the, like say you're going on a healer and he's just about to come out of a stun and then you hit him with the mortal strike effect from sharpened blade to really cripple them or do that on a DPS when the other he when their healer is coming out of crowd control. So uh, I'll, oh, I've got some gameplay that I'm going to be running through uh, af after this. We're going to talk about more about like kind of the other stuff, but I'm going to look through these uh, talent changes real quick. So, uh, Colossus Smash grants 10% haste for 8 seconds. This is an amazing talent that I actually really love playing because Focus Rage is kind of crap for PvP and also the, the Rage cost that they increase is kind of annoying and it kind of feels a bit clunky and I really love to play Mortal Combo here because these other two aren't that great. Um, and then Deadly Calm, I've never really Rage dived so I don't really need to use it at all. And also, they changed Execute, which I'll get into uh, in a bit. Uh, that really just means you don't need to play this as much. So what that what the in for the kill allows you to do is because it gives you this ten percent haste for eight seconds when you use Colossus Smash, which is normally going to be around where you're bursting, you're going to get more attacks out. So instead of maybe getting two or three um, attacks with your battle cry, you can get four or like even more if you're like lusted and things like that. And uh, uh, another big change is, of course, in the in rend and it becoming viable. So rend is a really good thing to be playing when you're playing with a rock comp. So no longer are arms warriors kind of pigeonholed into like doing a specific sort of role where you're like, oh, only cleaves work, or you can only play like um, WMP. Like WLS is back, which is uh, warlock, uh, which is a uh, warrior lock and shaman so the spread pressure is amazing you can also play it with a boomy with a lot of single target pressure but also a lot of spread you're going to see uh arms warriors doing this a lot in bgs in like especially rbgs and especially with the new um execute going down really really well 
Alright, let's, uh, I've got some gameplay here where we're just going to run through this as I talk generally about what uh, Arms Warriors, are kind of, what we're kind of seeing from Arms Warriors here and what comps are looking really good. So, to to start with, TSG, Turbo, and I apologize for some of these, like, clips are a little bit laggy, but, like, kind of just listening and hopefully it's not too, like, annoying. I've kind of picked some of the better ones, but I had issues with my OBS recording some of these because this is the like, first day of the season. I didn't check if it was, like, that great. So I apologize for that. But, so, the we've got a lot more damage out of our mortal strikes as well as the mortal strike effect being in there so we're now seeing a um as coming up near close or like equaling or sometimes even like pushing past like frost dk's and single target damage our cleave is also amazing um and then also our like utility is still really really nice so an, uh, an arms warrior now on a healer will create so much pressure and also just on a dps with your cooldowns alone creates a hell of a lot of pressure coming out so well, we're comboing those more those colossus smash into mortal strikes which gives us a buffed mortal strike and especially when they're critting they're hitting for like 900k minimum if you have two of the procs, uh, two of the, the stacks of the execute, so you've executed a target twice, and then that gives you like an additional 100% like damage on your uh, mortal strike with a sharpened blade. You can hit them for like 1.5, 1.8 million, which is like a ridiculous amount for mortal strikes, but is really nice to have as like a huge amount of damage. So pressure is back for Arms Warriors. Um, uh, our executes, they've changed this. So... Execute now deals like 25% more damage, deals a significant amount of damage, and now when you execute and you do not land the kill, um, it refunds, I think, 30% of the rage. Uh... Uh, it's now it's now, it's now now like 40% of the rage, I think. They, they changed it recently. 40% of the rage. So, um... You're no longer going to like execute twice into the back of like an, um, an Ardruid and Guardian form, who's then you don't have enough like rage to do anything to like tip him over the edge. So now like when those executes don't land, you're still going to be able to either continue executing or drop a really hard model strike into them and then execute them again. And like you keep like rinsing and repeating that. So it'd be like execute, execute, mortal strike. If he's not going, you're executing again to get those mortal strikes unless you have a really like heavy uh, uh, sharpened blade that you want to like quickly put in and you'd execute sharpened blade. Um, all of our like utility is still looking pretty good, but with the amount of damage we have and like the high cooldowns on the utility, I don't play them as much unless I desperately need to peel with it, which is often if you're playing against a sub rogue, which is ridiculously strong at the moment. So watch out for that, guys. Sub rogue is doing a significant amount of damage, has a lot of utility with being able to give it evasion and and vanish. So that's really strong. Uh, what's really good for Arms Warrior, as I said um, uh, earlier the, in the season, is the amount of comps that we can play and the roles that we can play has just increased massively. Um, that, this uh, clips are lagging a little bit here because the, it, we were having the, some server issues last night when it was getting the the servers were getting DDoS, I think. Um, and so the with the random, you being able to play this rot based build where you got heavy executes you got a lot of mortal strike it allows you to play with like way more comps than you could used to be able to it used to be like um oh you're kind of filling in not as great like you're kind of an all okay melee dps but you're playing for the sharpened blade and like the execute that didn't really execute now we have the sharpened blade the execute that really executes we also have the ability to rot teams down if we want to and um provide a considerable amount of utility with peels and some good CC. So Warrior at the moment is in actually a, like a, a really pretty amazing place that I'm like really, really enjoying. Um, so far I've played Thunder, I've played Turbo, I've played TSG. Um, Thunder was good, really fun to play, but it's not as strong as Turbo, but um, kind of gives you this like... Uh, it, it's a gameplay where you're kind of peeling for your elemental quite a lot, but when you manage to sync up damage with um, uh, with him putting his like uh, his storm collar out and uh, his stormkeeper out and 
your blade storm war breaker you can get a significant amount of damage out of that now uh what we're looking stat wise i think it's pretty much the same that we were looking at before maybe like get less of a handle on mastery more verse you're looking for to get more damage out there because we're not using the colossus smash as sort of like a oh we need this to do damage um like to be on the target we may we're mainly looking the colossus smash we're looking for those shattered defense procs which are going to be doing a significant amount of damage anyway um through using our um colossus smashes but also using our war breakers to proc them um we're still really really nice and tanky um so feel free to just like just you can see your defensive stance and you can go through a lot of stuff don't pop your die by the swords too early because then it kind of leads you in a vulnerable position communicate well with your healers um what to here's what i kind of expect out of there's going to be some tuning and um if you see what's probably likely to happen is a small reduction in maybe mortal strike damage ideally that's all that will happen because that it does need a bit of tuning it is quite ridiculous amounts of damage i think execute should stay the same because an execute should execute like that's what it's called it hasn't been doing that for a considerable amount of time and we we need it to be that way because that's a big way of playing warrior i hope ren doesn't get nerfed massively as it's like a really unique way of playing and opens up a significant amount of comps because if if ren doesn't do enough rot then we're generally not going to be selected for those uh, comps. Uh, Shadow play and uh, and ferals will start to re replace us as a means of getting more uh, like physical rot out there. Uh, but um, I think if if the first couple of days of the season is anything to sort of uh, look out for, it's going to be an amazing season for warriors it's going to be the the gameplay is very very fun really fast paced heavy damage lots of uh, like it makes it makes it kind of feel like you're doing something rather than sometimes you'd be hitting mortal strikes into targets and it's going to feel like oh god there's like i'm not really doing anything so um i think that's pretty much it i'll i'm gonna commentate this last bit of um uh, arena for you and then uh we'll kind of like i'll kind of show you how we're seeing increases and stuff like that here um but i hope that was it gives you a quick run through of like things that you want to be playing and other stuff like that so we managed to stop stop the gate which is really nice here and uh just keep trucking into this guy well decide to pop cooldowns as soon as we possibly can to cause some really big issues here because they're stacked up and we want to cause uh the pally to pop some stuff they start trying to peel massively and because we're playing thunder here we actually get the thunder strike away and it's all about peeling for our ellie and playing defensive and so he can get a uh damage out for him and while kind of putting in a whole load of pressure now before um when i played ellie before this patch it was like a it really relied on the ellie to get like a significant amount of damage out for it to be worth like doing anything but um here because like my damage legitimately went up like almost 100k consistent damage um just like you know in a patch uh we can get a lot of cooldowns out even with the ellie's kiting a lot so we managed to get the the bop and then we get the bubble and uh this is a, a comp that we could we, we would usually struggle with because like both targets are kind of crap targets and we have to really watch out for not only chaos bolts but full moons and it still is a significant amount of damage at the moment because both of them still do loads but um with the ability to play hyper aggressive and get lots of damage out as a warrior it's um significantly good well it's that's probably terrible as i um so we're just we keep pushing him we know he doesn't have bubble we doesn't really have anything we start getting into the executes get one execute out on into him so he's going to get hit with a really heavy mortal strike soon so and um, we know that the cooldowns coming back up when he's dead wow. that's a 1.8 million execute right there that is the execute that we know and love that's what we like to see so um now with that i hope you guys enjoy all your warrior play um don't be annoyed if you see a bit of a nerf coming because it kind of makes a little bit of sense with the fact that we have a really heavy uh mortal strike effect um that we do less damage uh 
I, I would love it if it stayed the same. I don't think we need a buff at all. And like anything, Ren's in a good place, does a significant amount of damage, opens a whole bunch of comps for us to play. Our executes finally executing. Mortal Strike's doing a lot of damage. But uh, if you do see a nerf that way, it's uh, it's not a big deal as long as it's not like over nerf like 40% or something like that, which I don't think they're going to do. Um, so I hope you all enjoy your season. If you have any questions, uh, my Twitter, my Discord, ask away. I hope this was useful. I wanted to throw this together pretty quickly because I'm going to be really busy for like two weeks and then I'll be back on pushing rating, getting more videos out for you, trying out as many comps as I possibly can. Uh, I appreciate you all and uh, peace. Hello there and thanks for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see and like if you liked it, dislike if you don't. Please comment to uh, let me know what you want to see in the future and uh, make sure to uh, come tune in and watch me on Twitch. I'm live from 12 a.m. or 12 midnight uh, GMT for normally about six hours playing a whole bunch of games. Hopefully I'll see you there.